hope all of you are very well and staying at home and enjoying your online classes so you people already have learned chapter 2 of class 5 that is first portion of chapter 2 class 5 containing the part computer software so the in the first portion i have defined software and uh, types of software system software today you will learn application software and i will elaborate few terms of system software okay now let us start for today we have already learned the types of software as i have defined in the last video basically there are two types of software system software and application software now what is system software the term system software refers to all those program that are meant for computer system this software control and coordinate the internal working of computer and perform many other tasks to maintain the system so basically what is system software system software specially provides a platform for other softwares to work properly now in system software we have already gone through the definition of system software features of operating system features of operating system we have done it in details with three points and examples of operating system system utilities and development software now i want to elaborate some of the terms of system utilities first what is system utilities the system utilities are small programs that help in the maintenance and upkeep of the computer system and those the small programs are disk defragmenter data cleanup data compression system restore antivirus software and so on these are the examples of system utilities now come to the point maintenance and upkeep of the computer system maintenance and upkeep of the computer system means keep the computer dust free make sure that the computer is running smoothly it is possible when you keep space in hard disk drive following the steps below delete unnecessary data from computer try to uninstall the unused software so if the hard disk drive that is the storage component of the computer is full filled with data at that moment computer runs slow so delete unnecessary data means the data is not required at the present time can be deleted to make the computer run smoothly and the softwares those are not in use can also be uninstalled to run the computer in a proper speed i hope now you have a clear idea about maintenance and upkeep of the computer system next come to the point disk defragmenter defragmentation is like cleaning house in case of pc it picks up all the pieces of data that are spread across your hard drive and puts them back together again disk fragmentation occurs when a file is broken up into pieces to fit on the disk so first thing what is fragmentation fragmentation means 
to break something into different pieces and if you are going to scatter those pieces in various places in that case the substance is fragmented in various pieces now if we organize the pieces we can make the total substance and the spaces those were occurred by those pieces will be blank space will be clean and clear when the substance is collect when the pieces of the substance are collected together to make the substance again similarly when data is scattered in the disk in different spaces the different spaces are occurred by the data that is called disk fragmentation and when we are uh, collecting the data to a particular place of the drive that is called defragmentation so one portion of the disk will be occurred by data and the remaining portion will be blank to be used next come to the point disk cleanup disk cleanup is a computer maintenance utility included in microsoft windows designed to free up disk space on a computer's hard drive the utility first searches and analyzes the hard drive for files that are no longer of any use and then removes the unnecessary files so first thing what the disk cleanup do disk cleanup first searches for the files which are not in use and removes those unused files those unnecessary files so the disk uh, may have some blank so the disk may uh, so the disk may have some free spaces and this is the way the disk cleanup works now come to the point data compression data compression in simple english compressing means the size of data comes to smaller size okay so what is compression data compression is a reduction in the number of bits needed to represent data all of us know that in computer we represent any data through bits so when the number of bits are reduced at that time the size of data reduced compressing data can save storage capacity speed up file transfer and decrease costs for storage hardware it is very clear when we have data of small size then we have to use less space in the hard disk drive and obviously the transfer of data will be faster than the high size of data when the size of data system restore it repairs the windows environment by reverting back to the files and settings that were saved in the restore point not it does not affect means does not delete or change your personal data files on the computer so what is system restore actually in every system there is a default setup when we are restoring a system we are just loading the default setup 
and in this case no files will be deleted no personal data will be deleted now what is antivirus software antivirus software track down the viruses and remove them from the computer so antivirus is basically used to detect and remove the virus from computer not on quickheal kaspersky and avg are some well known antivirus utility software what is virus a virus is a malicious program that has been written with the intention of harming computer and the information stored on them example frozen holes so actually virus is also a software that were programmed to harm the computer so here i have a um, picture that frozen horse is det has been detected by avast avast is an antivirus software now come to the point application software what is application software an application software is a program that runs with the help of the operating system software and allows a user to make files and do some useful work on the computer there are two main types of application software general purpose application software and customized application software so what is application software actually we use some softwares to do work on computer and this software is called application software now come to the point general purpose application software general purpose application software are the software designed for use by people at large for any general purpose such as word processing designing maintaining records making presentations and so on some example of general application software are ms word ms powerpoint and photoshop etc so general purpose of general purpose application software are basically used um, for word processing maintaining records making presentations etc now come to customized application software customized application software are the software specially developed to meet the needs of a particular person or organization an attendance system or payroll system developed for a particular company or are examples of customized application software so when the software is designed or organized according to the requirement of a particular customer or organization that is called customized application software the example of customized application software are attendance system or payroll system etc now come to some important points these days many versions of heavy application programs such as ms word powerpoint and so on are also available for use on the mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets and this smaller version of application software is called apps so the smaller version of application software that we have now in our mobiles like word powerpoint excel etc are called apps now come to some of the important terms software programs which run on the computer hardware and make it possible for us to work on the computer are called software what is system software software like operating system and system utilities which enables a computer to function properly operating system is the system software and now application software software that helps 
a user to do a specific type of work on computer in files so the application softwares are like powerpoint ms excel ms word which are used to make various required documents etc are called application software and what is virus a malicious program which can harm the computer virus is also a program written by a programmer to harm the computer now what is antivirus a type of software which offers protection from the virus programs are called anti virus so this is for today we have an idea about types of software system software application software application software are also divided in two parts general purpose software customized software general purpose software are that which software are already made for use and customized software are the software made for specific requirements those are called customized software this is all for today i hope you have enjoyed the session of today and tomorrow we will start with the exercise of 